Hello all, hope you are doing well. Today I am here to show you a new solidwork design. That model is a LED bulb. So welcome to my channel, solidwork tutorial with Raihan. Now I am starting to make the 3D modeling. So at first open the solidwork software and go to file. From the file, click on new and select part ok so at first you have to select a plane from this part here you see there is three plane showing you can choose any of them so I am selecting here the front plane from the front plane click to e sketch now select a line and select from the center point to here make some dimension from here to here is 90 millimeter and from the middle point to here is 45 millimeter so the midpoint is equal from the upside and low side then make it ok now take a point and click here and give a dimension from here to here is 27 millimeter ok now again go to center point arc and make a arc from this point to here and go to here okay and give the dimension from here to here is 41 millimeter also give a dimension uh, for this arc is 27 so already it is defined 27 now we have some sketches from the below side so go to to select line and from here to here here to here here to here okay select now define these lines define this point is 6 millimeter and this point to this point is 8 millimeter this point to this point is 10 millimeter and this point this point this point to this point is 13 millimeter no 11 millimeter and is one more is case to go this point to this point is 13 millimeter so this dimension are complete now we have to give some dimension from this side again go to dimension and from this point to this point is 3 millimeter this point to this point is 13 millimeter and this point to this point is 18 millimeter this point to this point is 22 millimeter 
so all this is sketch are fully defined now we have to sketch spline click here here to here uh, trim it and make this two line is transient now you can also add some dimension for this line and make it 28 I think everything is now okay to apply the feature of SolidWork Revolved Base Boss feature. Now I am clicking Revolved Base Boss and click this line. Now click OK. Now again go to font plane and sketch from this point to this point is 7 millimeter select circle and sketch a circle to this point and give some dimension is 3 or ok 3 millimeter and apply the excluded base boss feature and the direction section select mid plane and give the value is 20 millimeter so the pin can go both of the side of the plane now click ok so the model is almost ready now I am giving some fillet and the below side give 3 millimeter fillet this this and these edges click ok and for this is um, you can give 2.5 millimeter and for this make 3 millimeter fillet ok mm, I think 3 is uh, you can need it here and give 2 millimeter ok so now I am going to add some appearance for this model click this face and go to appearance and select the face and from the appearance go to glass glossy glass and apply clean clear glass ok now apply some appearance for this face also click here and the face go to appearance and face select the metal aluminium and polished aluminium I'm going to select all the face from here I think all the face is covered here so click OK now we can apply also company logo from here decals and go to logo you can 
go here and you can browse from your device I'm going to um, download sections and I am here is a image file that I was downloaded previously so select here and open and okay So now everything is okay, the design is complete and the appearance also applied. So now you can render, go to photo view 360 and integrated preview. Wait a few times. now the design is okay thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel and share it with your friends or who have interest with the 3d modeling with the solidworks software